Hi everyone, in this video we'll take a look at Amazon's Party Rock. Party Rock is a low-code, no-code tool by Amazon that allows you to build good quality one-page Gen AI apps. Let's take a look at how you can build your own app. All right, so this is Amazon's Party Rock. It is a new low-code, no-code builder to build your own Gen AI apps. Kind of like custom GPTs, but a little different. They don't have all the capabilities of the custom GPTs, but they are good in certain aspects. Of them. Before we go any further, let me show you how easy it is to build an app. Describe computer science concepts to my five-year-old. This is what I want the app to do. So what it's doing in the back end here is that it is thinking through, structuring how to take this and put it in multiple steps. And we'll talk about how steps are defined in Party Rock. Essentially what it's doing is it's splitting it into a user-defined input area and an AI-generated output area. And the AI-generated output area has a prompt that instructs what content it needs to generate. There you have it. Let's test this app out. I wanna ask it about a race. Not a bad job. So the whole concept was divided into an input and an output. The input area is user defined, user can type anything they want. The output is the generated content from the AI system. The output is defined by an instruction that is sent to the system. Let's learn the concept so you can build your own. Party Rock takes you to an interface where you can sign in. They've made some free credits for users to use right now. So if you sign in today, you get some sort of free credits that you can use to build your own apps. You will then be able to either create your own apps or you could also find other people's apps. The main concept of Party Rock is that it allows for you to have a multi-output interface for a single for a set of inputs that you give it. What this allows you to do is build a more robust one page app for activities that you want. Best thing about this is that the apps can also be multimodal. So let's take an example, build it out, I'll show you the different components involved so you can see what's going on. I am going to, we are going to build out Storyboard Builder. So in this app, we're going to take three Inputs, we're gonna take a subject, setting, and situation. We're gonna generate a plot out of it. And then we're gonna storyboard three images that go with the plot. So let's take, uh, you will be able to add in your user inputs. You can make changes to the inputs. How do they look and so on and so forth. Then you can add these blocks. All these blocks here per Party Rock are called widgets. There are five types of widgets. Let's take a look at what they are. There's a user input widget, which allows a user to input values. In this use case, subject setting and situation where are user input widgets. Then there's a static widget. Static widget is just a piece of text that is used for separations, etc. Then you have the AI power widgets. These are output widgets. You have the text generation, which gives you generated text output. You have image generation, which generates image output. Let's take a look at what models each of them are in a minute. Then you have a chat bot, which is a chat for you to interact with the model. Let's take a look at what is actually involved in the process. This, as I mentioned, is a user input value. You can give it some standing text that explains what you need to enter. This right here is the next part of it. I can refer to my inputs that you mentioned in here as instructions. So the easiest way to do that is to do an at, and it'll give you all the components in this. app. So all of these are inputs to this plot widget, which basically has an instruction that says generate a plot summary of 50 words for the story. You could pick the model that you want or adjust some temperature settings that you want to get better outputs or different outputs. The image widgets, again, have different models that you can use. 
At this point, stable diffusion Excel is the only one available. Very important to note that these are not prompts, these are instructions that actually reference other widgets. Now, the way this works is behind the scenes, the app takes that instruction and creates a prompt that is then given to the stable diffusion Excel model. Let's take a look at what the prompt was in this case. It says first scene of a story about a doctor on train trying to save patients having use cases that are really good for this kind of an app have multiple outputs, just like you saw in my storyboard. They have one set of inputs that you're driving from the user. You want all of them to work together to give you the respective. Output. A perfect example for this would be something like an assistant to help you fill job applications. I've actually published this available for anybody to use in the links below. In this application, all you're doing is you're giving your current resume and then you are giving a target role that you're applying to. And the application generates a custom resume that works for the job applications role. It picks out any deficient skills that you have in your current resume. It does a little analysis of how it is a good fit or not. It generates a cover letter. It generates interview questions and also gives you an interview strategy. In this use case, I've now entered a resume and a target role. And it will give me multiple out, which would have taken me a lot of back and forth with the chat interface, are now available as individual outputs of their own. So how does this compare with OpenAI's custom GPTs? Party Rock doesn't have a lot of features that custom GPTs have, like code interpreter, tools, and API. This goes on to show how much of a headway OpenAI has with respect to everyone else. Where it shines is its ability to generate an app out of an idea and the ability to have multiple user inputs and multiple outputs from the AI. This is where OpenAI doesn't have, OpenAI doesn't have a native tool. OpenAI's APIs probably will allow you to do that on your own, but there is no native tool for you to play around with. 